and check to make sure that you haven't gathered any tension or tightness. And if you have, just gently allow it to release, relax. And take a moment to remind yourself of your altruistic bodhicitta motivation in your own words to yourself. And then visualize on the crown of the head, seated upon a white lotus and moon disc, is the protector, my root guru Chenrezig. He is white in color and has one face and four arms. The first two hands are joined together at his heart, holding a wish fulfilling gem. His second right hand holds a crystal rosary while his second left hand holds a white lotus. He is seated cross-legged Vajra posture, clothed in fine silk garments and is adorned with precious ornaments. The syllables Om, Ah, and Hum at his three places emit light that invites Guru Chenrezig from his natural abode. Guru Chenrezig dissolves into the Guru Chenrezig on my crown, who becomes the essence of the three refuges. And stabilizing that. Guru Buddha above your crown. Present. Relatable. Both representing and embodying perfect wisdom and compassion. and then refuge in bodhicitta. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha Dharma Supreme Assembly by accumulating merit through practicing generosity and so on. May I become a Buddha to benefit reincarnating beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha Dharma Supreme Assembly by accumulating merit through practicing generosity and so on. May I become a Buddha to benefit reincarnating beings. I go for refuge in time enlightened to Buddha Dharma Supreme Assembly by accumulating merit through practicing generosity and so on. May I become a Buddha to benefit reincarnating beings. <clears throat> Especially for the benefit of all sentient beings, I will quickly, very quickly, attain the precious state of perfect and complete Buddhahood. For this reason, I will practice the yoga method of Chenrezig Compassion Buddha with one face and four arms. Especially for the benefit of all sentient beings, I will quickly, very quickly, 
attain the precious state of perfect and complete Buddhahood. For this reason, I will practice the yoga method of Chenrezig Compassion Buddha with one face and four arms, especially for the benefit <clears throat> of all sentient beings. I will quickly, very quickly, attain the precious state of perfect and complete Buddhahood. For this reason, I will practice the yoga method of Chenrezig Compassion Buddha with one face and two arms. May all sentient beings possess happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from happiness that is free of suffering. May they abide with equanimity, free from attachment to attractive objects and hatred for repulsive objects. And go ahead and recite that twice more to yourself, reinforcing it. Everywhere may the ground be pure, free of the roughness of pebbles and so forth. May it be in the nature of lapis lazuli and as smooth as the palm of one's hand. May human and divine offerings actually arranged and mentally created, clouds of finest Samadabhadra offerings fill the entire space. Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasawa Pramadana Tathagataya Ahate samyak samburaya, tayata hum vajre vajre mahavad, atira vajre mahavira vad, mahabodhi chira vajre mahabodhi mendo pasam gramana vad, vakama avarana vishadana vajre soha. Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasava Pramadana Tathagataya Ahate Samik Sambhura Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Ma Vajra Ma Tita Vajra Ma Vira Vajra Ma Bodhi Tita Vajra Ma Bodhi Manda Pasam Gramana Vajra Avarana Vishadana Vajra Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasava Pramadana Tathagataya Ahate Samik Sambhura Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Ma Vajra Ma Tita Vajra Ma Vira Ma bodhi chita vajra ma bodhi mendo gasam kramana vajra sawa kama avarana vishadana vajra soha. By the power of the truth of the three jewels, of the blessing of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, by the power of the great might of the completed two accumulations and of the completely pure, inconceivable sphere of reality, may all these offerings become just so. And then we'll recite the foundation of all good qualities. The foundation of all good qualities is the kind and perfect pure guru. Correct devotion to them is the root of the path. By clearly seeing this and applying great effort, please bless me to rely upon them with great respect. Understanding that the precious freedom of this rebirth is found only once is greatly meaningful and is difficult to find again. Please bless me to generate the mind that unceasingly day and night takes its essence. This life is as impermanent as a water bubble. Remember how quickly it decays and death comes. After death, just like a shadow follows the body, the results of black and white karma follow. Finding firm and definite conviction in this, please bless me always to be careful to abandon even the slightest negativities and accomplish all virtuous deeds. Seeking samsaric pleasures is the door to all suffering. They are uncertain and cannot be relied upon. Recognizing these shortcomings, please bless me to generate the strong wish for the bliss of liberation. Led by this pure thought, mindfulness, alertness, and great caution arise. The root of the teachings is keeping the pratamoksha vows. Please bless me to accomplish this essential practice. 
just as I have fallen into the sea of samsara, so have all mother migratory beings. Please bless me to see this, train in supreme bodhicitta, and bear the responsibility of freeing migratory beings. Even if I develop only bodhicitta, but I don't practice the three types of morality, I will not achieve enlightenment. With my clear recognition of this, please bless me to practice the bodhisattva vows with great energy. Once I have pacified distractions to wrong objects and correctly analyzed the meaning of reality, please bless me to generate quickly within my mind stream the unified path of calm abiding and special insight. Having become a pure vessel by training in the general path, please bless me to enter the holy gateway of the fortunate ones, the supreme Bhajra vehicle. At that time, the basis of accomplishing the two attainments is keeping pure vows in Samaya. I have become firmly convinced of this. Please bless me to protect these vows and pledges like my life. Then, having realized the importance of the two stages, the essence of the Vajrayana, by practicing with great energy, never giving up the four sessions, please bless me to realize the teachings of the Holy Guru. Like that, may the gurus who show the noble path and the spiritual friends who practice it have long lives. Please bless me to pacify completely all outer and inner hindrances. In all my lives, never separated from perfect gurus, may I enjoy the magnificent Dharma by completing the qualities of the stages and paths. May I quickly attain the state of Vajadhara. I'm feeling the whole path to enlightenment reinforced, continuing with the invocation. To Chenrezi Compassion Buddha, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I declare all my negative actions accumulated since beginning this time. and rejoice in the merit of all holy and ordinary beings. Please remain until the end of cyclic existence and turn the wheel of Dharma for living beings. I dedicate my own merits and those of all others to the great enlightenment. Oh, 
To Arya Chenrezig, whose body is pure white, unstained by defilements, whose head is adorned by the fully enlightened Buddha Amitabha. To you who gaze upon all sentient beings with eyes of boundless compassion, I make offering. Yadam Guru Radna Mandala Kamni Atayani. And blessing the offering if you've received the empowerment. Otherwise, thinking that the front or crown generated Chenrezig performs these actions. Instantaneously arises the holy body of the great compassionate one. Om Padma Tatri Hum Pe Om Salawa Shuddha Saladama Salawa Shuddha Hum The offering substances become just empty. From within emptiness, from broom syllables, vast and extensive precious vessels arise. Within each, the syllable Om melts into light, from which arise drinking water, water for bathing the feet, flowers, incense, lamps, perfume, food, and music. Empty in nature, they have the aspect of the individual types of offerings and function to bestow special uncontaminated bliss. Om Bhagyamar Hum, Om Padyamar Hum, Om Pupeya Hum, Om Jupeya Hum, Om Haukeya Hum, Om Gandeya Hum, Om Nudeya Hum, Om Da Hum, Om Hupa Hum, Om Shata Hum, Om Gandeya Hum, Om Raza Hum, Om Spaza Hum. Whatever slight virtue I have created by paying homage, offering, and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing and requesting the Buddha's stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for full awakening. Om Sawa Shuddha Sawa Dhamma Sawa Shuddha Hum. The natures of myself, the deity to be meditated upon, and all phenomena are an essence of one taste in emptiness. Reflect on that. From the sphere of emptiness, the aspect of the tone of the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum, resounds, pervading the realm of space. Hear it in your mind's ear, resonating. My mind in the aspect of the undifferentiable suchness of myself and the deity becomes a moon mandala upon which the very aspect of the tone of the mantra resounding in space is set down, having the form of written syllables, the sounds and the letters mixing like very pure mercury adhering to grains of gold. that completely transforms into a thousand petal lotus, as brilliant as refined gold, marked at the center by the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum, 
from the tips of multicolored light rays emitted from the moon, lotus, and mantra, innumerable holy bodies of the Arya Avlokiteshvara spread out, pervading all the realms of space. Great clouds of miraculously emanated offerings are beautifully offered to the Buddhas and their children. From yet another great emanated cloud, a continuous rain of nectar descends, extinguishing the fires of suffering of all migrators of the hells and other realms. They are satisfied with bliss and become Avokiteshvara. Then the light rays, along with the bodies of the deity, return and enter into one's own mind in the aspect of the moon mandala, lotus, and mantra garland. These transform into a multicolored lotus and moon seat, upon which oneself arises as Arya Avlokiteshvara, with one face and four arms. The first two hands are joined together at the heart and hold a wish-fulfilling gem. The second right hand holds a crystal rosary, while the second left hand holds the stem of a white lotus. Aryab Lokiteshvara is seated cross-legged in the Vajra posture, clothed in fine silk garments and is adorned with precious ornaments. He is a white colored holy body, is in the prime of youth, and radiates rays of light. Stabilize clear appearance. At the crown is a white om, at the throat a red ah, at the heart a blue hum. Upon a moon mandala at the heart is a white hri. And we bless the five places with the lotus mudra. Om Pema Pawai Soha, Om Pema Pawai Soha. Om Pema Boy So Ha, Om Pema Boy So Ha, Om Pema Boy So Ha. Light rays radiate from the Hri at the heart, invoking from their natural abodes Arya Avlokiteshvara, surrounded by the entire assembly of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Om Maya Lokeshwari Sapari Wari Vajra Samaya Za 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 Hum Bam Ho. And they become non dual with the commitment being. 
Again, light rays radiate from the free at the heart, invoking the empowering deities, the five Buddha families with Amitabha as their principle, together with their retinues. So visualize red Buddhas and blue Buddhas, green Buddha Buddhas and yellow Buddhas, white Buddhas, male and female aspects, embodying the five wisdoms, Amitabha as the principle. Om Bhadra Samaja. And we request all Tathagatas, please confer the empowerment upon me. Om Sala Tathagata Bishakata Samaya Shriya Hum. They bestow the empowerment with vase water. Thereby the entire body is filled and all stains are purified. From a transformation of the excess water remaining on the crown, the crown becomes adorned with Amitabha. Om Penma Tatri Hum Pei. Om Salawa Shuddha Saladama Salawa Shuddha Hum. Don't body do like you. The offerings become just empty. From within emptiness, from room syllables, vast and extensive precious vessels arise. Within each, the syllable Om melts into light, from which arise drinking water, water for bathing the feet, flowers, incense, lamps, perfume, food, and music. Empty in nature, they have the aspect of the individual types of offerings and function to bestow special uncontaminated bliss. Om hai gyam bhadyam puape duape aloke gande nuade shapta ahum. And we offer them. Om hai aloke shware sapare var hai gyam prati sa soha. Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwar Aryam Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwar Pupe Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwar Jupe Prati Sansoha Om Varya Lokeshwar He Sapari Var Aoke Prati Sansoha Om Varya Lokeshwar Sapari Var Gande Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwa Nude Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwa Shabda Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwa Rupa Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwar Sapariwar Shabda Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwar Sapariwar Yende Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwa Raza Prati Sansoha Om Arya Lokeshwara Sapariwa Raza Prati Sansoha Whatever slight virtue I have created, 
by paying homage, offering and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing and requesting the Buddha's stay and teach. I now dedicate all this for full awakening. To Arya Chenrezig, whose body is pure white, unstained by defilements, whose head is adorned by the fully enlightened Buddha Amitabha, to you who's, who gaze upon all sentient beings with eyes of boundless compassion, I prostrate. And blessing them all. Om Guru Sawata Tagata Kaya Vakshita Prana Mana Sawata Tagata Vajra Pada Pada Nam Karomi. Om Vazumate Shri Soha. 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 On Vazumati Shri Soha. On a moon disc at the heart of Chenrezig in front, or yourself as Chenrezig if you have the empowerment, is the concentration being the syllable free, surrounded by garlands of the mantra to be recited, white in color, standing clockwise. Light rays radiate from them, filling all the inside of one's body and purifying all negativities and obscurations. Light radiates outward, from which an incalculable assembly of deities of the great compassion Buddha with one face and four arms are emanated. Again, light rays are emitted, purifying the negativities and obscurations of all sentient beings and setting them in the state of Arya Avalokiteshvara. These then collect back and dissolve into the Hri at one's heart, or the Hri at the heart, the deity in front. And so just stabilize that impression of light, purifying you, going out, inviting all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in the form of Chenrezig and their blessings. Light going out, purifying all sentient beings and environments, transforming them into Chenrezig's Avalokiteshvaras. And they come back and dissolve into the Hri at the heart. Again and again, light going in, light going out. And you try and hold that visualization while adding the mantra. First, the long Dharani. Namo Ratna Triya Namo Arya Yana Sagara Verochana Buharatsaya Tatagataya Ahate Samyak Sambudaya Namo sawa tata gate be, ahate be sam yang sam buddha be. Namo arya avaloki te, shuraya bodhisattva ya, mahasattva ya, mahakarunika ya, dayata 
Om Dara Dara Diri Diri Duru Duru Ite Vate Sale Sale Pra Sale Pra Sale Kusume Kusume Wari Hili Mili Siti Tsola Mapanaya Soha Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 And continue the mantra just under your breath, together with the visualization of light going out, going in, purifying, transforming. Om Mani Padme Hum. And if you lose focus, just come back to the words of the visualization, clarifying them.
Just maintaining the mantra together with the visualization, coming back whenever you get distracted. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. Money pen me. And then we shift to purifying any mistakes. Om Padmasapa Samaya Manu Palaya Padmasapa Deno Padishta Dido Mibo Sudo Kayo Mibo Supo Kayo Mibo Anorakta Mibawa Sawa Siddhi Me Prayata Sawa Kama Sutam Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagam Sawa Jata Gata Padma Mame Musa Padma Bawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ahum Pe Om Padma Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Padma Sapa Deno Padisha Dido Mibaw Sudo Kaya Mibawa Supo Kaya Mibaw Anarakta Mibawa Sala Siddhi Me Payata Sala Kama Sutta Me Siddham Triyam Kuru Aha Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sala Tata Gata Padma Mame Padma Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pe Om Padmasapa Samaya Manu Palaya Padmasapa Deno Padishta Dido Mibawa Sudo Kaya Mibawa Supo Kaya Mibawa Hana Rakta Mibawa Sawa Siri Me Prayata Sawa Kama Sutam Siram Triam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagam and Padma Mame Muta Padma Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pe. In any mistakes and omissions or distractions have been purified. Arya Avlokiteshvara, with one face, four arms. Please cleanse and purify all diseases, spirit harms, negativities, and obscurations of all sentient beings like myself. Please enhance and increase the life, merit, and all qualities of scriptural dharma and realization dharma. Arya Avlokiteshvara with one face, four arms. Please cleanse and purify all diseases, spirit harm, negativities, and obscuration of all sentient beings like myself. Please enhance and increase the life, merit, and all qualities of scriptural dharma and realization dharma. Arya Avlokiteshvara with one face, four arms. Please cleanse and purify all diseases, spirit harm, negativities, and obscuration of all sentient beings like myself. Please enhance and increase the life, merit, and all qualities of scriptural dharma and realization dharma. Gewadi nyuru dang chen rezi kundru gyune dro wa jingam malupa 
By the force of the praises and requests made to you, may all diseases, evil spirits, poverty, and quarrels be calmed, and may the Dharma and good fortune increase in the regions in which I and others dwell. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that is not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Just as the brave man Jushri and Samadha Bhajra too realize things as they are, I too dedicate all these merits in the best way that I may follow their perfect example. I dedicate all these roots of virtue with the dedication praised as the best, by the victorious ones thus gone of the three times so I might perform good works. Whatever slight virtue I have accumulated by prostrating, offering and confessing, rejoicing, urging and requesting the Buddha's stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for full awakening. Due to this merit in all my lives, may I never be parted from perfect gurus. May I enjoy the abundance of the Dharma, perfecting all the qualities of the stages and paths May I quickly attain the state of Vajdhara. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjunath's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers honoring the three jewels, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chenrezig Tenzing Getso, please remain until samsara ends. Savior of the Snowland teachings and transmigratory beings, who extensively clarifies the path that unifies emptiness and compassion, to the lotus in hand, Lord Tenzing Getso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be fulfilled. Avlokiteshvara, great treasure of non-objectifying compassion, Manjushri, master of stainless wisdom. Sonkapa, crown jewel of the sages of the land of snow, Lozandrapa, at your feet I make request. Okay. So because it's the session before lunch, um, even though it's just a short retreat, we're gonna do um, the lunch offering prayer, the food offering prayer that we do during retreat time. So if you wanna just picture what you're going to have for lunch, whether it's still ingredients in your fridge or whether it's already been created and is hanging out on the stove or whether you're about to order it from DoorDash, whatever your plans are, visualize your lunch. And then think that it is empty by nature and imagine that it transforms into oceans of uncontaminated bliss that you offer all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum. Lion Maha Sangha Lahama. Chute Yashin Lahama. Ye Dunte. And think, may we view this food without attachment seeing it as medicine to sustain life and build strength so we can continue our path to benefit all sentient beings. Okay, so we'll have another session um, after lunch. Um, it's a bit of a lunch break, so we'll come back at three. And um, once again, we'll start with a little bit of explanation of the text and the practice, keeping going and answering questions, and then we'll do a session again. So I'll see you at three o'clock.
Thank you. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you. You too.